So Sarah, so when is the last time you were on Hamlin's campus? Um, I think I walked through maybe maybe 10 days ago, two weeks ago, something like that, just on a short walk, but just kind of through the edge of it. And I, um, when I go, I mostly go to see the gardens, and, which obviously there hasn't been a lot of reason to do in recent months, but now stuff is starting to come up. Have you ever been in the buildings on campus recently? Um, I haven't. Um, I haven't been in very many of them. Um, I've been in Sundon, of course. I haven't been very many places on campus. I haven't had a lot of reasons to go into the buildings, you know. Um, have you interacted with any other Hamlin students besides myself recently? Not recently, no. No. It's too bad that there's not more town gown interaction. It would be a uh, it would be nice if there was a more natural way for people to to interact and connect. I'd be curious about what what their what some students' perception is of their relationship with the neighborhood or connection to the neighborhood, because um, I would imagine that they view that differently than we do. you learned about the neighborhood from watching the videos? It's not about me learning. I know it's not. That would just what be a I, fringe no, benefit. No, what it really is actually is it's about pushing the students and neighbors into interactions. Mm -hmm. And neighbors have preconceptions about students and students have That's preconceptions we were just about talking. So, Sarah. So Emma, do you think that the students on campus know more about why things are who, who things are named for? I think that they have no idea. <laughs> I think they have no idea, honestly. I'm getting a tour of campus okay. and I notice that everything is named for somebody. For example, Fulford Terrace. Do you know who Fulford was? I don't. Do you know who Carol Anderson was? The whole building is Carol Anderson. Carol and her husband, Anderson. I don't, don't know, know too much about So have you had any opportunity to interact with neighbors, non-student neighbors? Well, I work at the Hamlin Church, and so oh. um, I actually do interact with a lot of people who live nearby, but it's more because I'm kind of forced in a way, uh -huh. not because it's like... Not because you sought it out. The President's White House, if uh -huh. you don't know, that yeah. might be teared down to make another parking lot. Uh -huh. um, but then that goes to, like, students have to pay them for, like, passes. And some people find that really, they don't want to do that. They just want to be able to park on the streets. And, yeah, right. So, I can certainly see why the students would want to be able to park on the street for free. Mm -hmm. Like, who wouldn't? On the other hand, like, sometimes I can't park. I have a driveway, so I can park. Mm -hmm. The driveway is big enough for both vehicles that my family has, but if somebody comes to visit us, there's right. frequently, they can't even park in front of our house, and what really annoys the neighbors is sometimes students will park, like, across somebody's driveway. And it's like, really? Because yeah. then they can't get, the person who lives there can't get it right. in or out, it's like, Really? Like, would you do this at home in your <laughs> <laughs> park in front of somebody's driveway? Right, yeah. So, so the neighbors would love the idea of Hamlin having more parking mm -hmm. just for that reason. Yeah. 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 So after today's visit, would you be more inclined to go inside maybe the Anderson Center on your own, even just yeah. to? Yeah walk around or to yeah, get I think coffee. I'm, yeah, I think I'd be more likely to go inside. Yeah, absolutely. Do you think you feel more comfortable after today's walk or just with I students? think more interested, you know, than, like if you don't know what's in a building, it's hard to be interested to go into the building, mm -hmm. you know, so, 
So yeah, next time I'm walking around to look at the flowers, maybe I'll get a latte. 